वेलकम फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर प्रशांत पाटिल नाइन कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग बेलगाम प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन सो दैट यू गेट द नोटिफिकेशंस लाइक द वीडियो कमेंट एंड शेयर इन दिस वीडियो फाइंड द z ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ cos n theta and sin n theta for that we should know the what is the e raised to ix formula e raised to ix i can write it as cis x or cos theta plus i sin sorry x i cos x and i sin x i can write okay using this property i can derive the uh the z transform of cos n theta and sin n theta here right before that we know that or we have z transform of a raised to n in my previous video i have derived this z transform of a raised to n as z divided by z minus a okay now consider consider z transform of e raised to i n theta i can write this one as e to the power sorry z transform of z transform of e to the power e to the power i theta to the power n i can write correct therefore this is my a now according to this one therefore i can write it as z divided by z minus e to the power i theta i can write but e to the power i theta according to this property i can write it as cos x plus i sin x i can write therefore it is nothing but z divided by z minus z minus cos theta plus i sin theta and here this minus is multiplied inside and this will become z divided by z minus cos theta plus sorry minus i sin theta and here what is uh, in the denominator usually i will not keep i term imaginary term to avoid that one i have to multiply and divide by the complex conjugate of this that is nothing but z divided by z minus cos theta minus i sin theta into z minus cos theta this is real part plus i will make this difference here plus i into sin theta divided by z minus cos theta plus i into sin theta i can multiply and divide so that i can avoid this i in the denominator numerator will become z into z minus cos theta plus i sin theta whole divided by this is nothing but a minus b a plus b that is z minus cos theta the whole square minus i into sin theta the square now expand this i square as minus 1 i square equal to minus 1 this will become minus of minus plus and i am writing it as i will multiply inside this one z into z minus cos theta plus i into z sin theta and whole divided by z a minus cos theta square minus i square will become minus 1 minus of minus plus sin square theta and it is a minus b the whole square i can write it as a square plus b square plus 2ab therefore z into z minus cos theta plus i into z sin theta whole divided by this is nothing but z square plus cos square theta plus 2 times z into cos theta sorry not plus minus here because minus is there plus sin square theta and you can observe this sin square theta plus cos square theta is nothing but your one i can replace in my next step what i'll write is z into z minus cos theta plus i into z sin theta whole divided by z square z square uh, minus 2z cos theta plus this cos square theta plus sin square theta i will write it as 
cos square root plus sin square root equal to 1 I have replaced and similarly the left hand side left hand side also I can write it as left hand side as a z transform of e raised to e raised to i and theta is there that I can write it as a z transform of e raised to ix like that cos n theta plus i sin n theta I can write which is equal to now I will split by using the linear property on the left hand side I will split it into two z transforms that is z transform of cos n theta for real part plus i into z transform of sin n theta on the left hand side like that right hand side also I will split it into two terms i divided by this one this whole divided by this one that is z into z minus cos theta divided by z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 plus i into z sin theta divided by z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 this is the two complex numbers here okay when the two complex numbers are equal then the two complex numbers are equal on both sides are provided the real part is equal to real part and imaginary part is equal to imaginary part therefore from this one I can write it as real part is equated to real part z transform of cos n theta must be equal to z into z minus cos theta whole divided by z square minus z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 this is for z transform of cos n theta just you can observe here real part is equated to real part like that imaginary part is equated to imaginary part the coefficient of i is nothing but your imaginary part on the right hand side also the imaginary part is this one therefore z transform of sin n theta is equal to the what right hand side imaginary part is z into sin theta divided by denominator will remain the same for both that is z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 this is your z transform of sin n theta these two formula are very very important the denominators are same z transform of cos n theta is I can write z multiplication z square minus z cos theta divided by z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 and z transform of sin n theta I can write it as z into sin theta divided by z square minus 2z cos theta plus 1 like this some more examples using this rule damping rule and all those things I am going to do in my next videos if you not yet subscribed my channel please subscribe my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you will get the notifications of my next videos like this video comment and also share this video thank you friends